As my college is drawing to a close, I'm forced to move out. That means I do not have access to the gym. So much like the world where COVID-19 has shut down all gyms, I'm interested in looking for a nice outdoor area where I can practice my body weight routine. I would also like to take this opportunity to explore Singapore's latest playground, which is at the Singapore Botanical Gardens. So we are here. This is in fact my second time over here. I tried to film a similar vlog last week but I was wearing like cotton t-shirt and I wasn't having the time of my life because I'm very prone to sweating. I am wearing active wear because I learned my lesson from the previous round. Today I'm basically interested in looking for childhood landmarks that were featured in my childhood photos when my mom would used to bring my sis and I to the botanical garden. Hopefully it's still there. I doubt that it's there. So that is one thing that I'll be doing as well as trying to capture some beautiful image of Jerrica. Right now we have arrived at our first photo spot. It's kind of very typical Balinese. Photoshop, Photoshop, Photoshoot, Photoshop, Balinese shoot. We are gonna use the canopies of this particular tree over here and try to use it to frame Jerrica. Right now, Jerrica is getting changed at the background. That's one of the perks of having a dress with you, a long flowy dress, because you can easily just put it on anywhere you need to go. And today it's really very hot, that is why she's actually in active wear like me as well. This is located at the Halcyon Walk. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the pronunciation of it. I'm just gonna use Halcyon because it's Yale NUS mascot. Of course, I don't like shooting at midday, but this is one of the benefits of shooting at midday. You get this very cool looking shadows that Jerrica depends a lot on spill the tea. We have reached our second photo spot, which is the Ginger Garden Fountain, however it is. It's closed. So we are unable to take any pictures at the moment. We will move on towards the bandstand as well as the Swan Lake area, the old part of Botanic Garden. So as you can see over here, there's like this white veranda. I actually have a lot of good memories here because in secondary school, my school was really near. After school, we would always come by the botanic gardens. Like yeah, like who on earth hangs out at the botanic gardens after school, right? Yeah, but that, that was us. Then we just sat here and then we just ate <laughs> from the whole tub of lemon sorbet or had like sashimi and things like that. Yeah, botanic gardens is very nostalgic for me because we spent so much time here. It was really fun, like me and all my friends. Just nothing like with no other care in the world but just sitting down and just enjoying nature. Look at that! Who met us along our path? We're trying to get over to the other side so that I can possibly film a drone but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go over. Oh whoa 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 there's more! Oh wow that's amazing! So I've managed to spot one childhood monument, which is this fountain over here. I actually have a photograph of me when I was a wee little boy touching the marble wall over here. And I think it's really cool because at that point in time, I was told to not touch anything, especially when it comes to waterfall. Because like when I'm a child, I want to touch everything and play with water. So this installation is very interactive for me as a kid. I can just place my hand against the cold surface of the marble wall. Yeah. So she's wearing that. Meanwhile, I'm still in sports attire. Right now, we are heading to the new playground, the Como Adventure Cove, which is currently located at the Gallup Extension. Yes, my shirt is off because it's freaking hot. And we are pretty much done with uh, capturing photography. Right now, we are just going to the Como Adventure Cove. Uh, to capture some fitness video. Again, it's a very narrow white path. If you're unable to find the route to the Como Adventure Cove, go ahead and ask the receptionist or like the staff that is in charge at the main entrance of the learning forest and they'll direct you. It's just a very narrow white path and just follow the path then. You can seriously tell that this is an extension. Singapore has a pretty good reputation of like adding new things but making it flow very naturally but this one the gallops extension from its name you can really tell that it's an extension of the botanic garden because the path is basically like a car park and it's very empty yeah i don't think much people know about this playground that is why i'm planning to bring you there and i'm planning to complete a workout over there as well so you can see how beautiful this is we are taking a quick stop over here because jerrica is having troubles with her hair 
Look at my makeshift like rubber band. Like oh my god. Okay, let's move on. We are within the new part of the Gallup extension. I would highly suggest you visit this in the late afternoon because right now we are in mid-afternoon and there's zero shades over here because this is a new park. All of the trees are relatively young, so it's just sticks, they provide no shades compared to the older parts of the Botanic Garden. you to be on your back so it's very much just your hands and the floor maximum we are cramped in a very small hut so i'm using the wide angle on my iphone instead let's get started shall we so it's very simple four exercises first exercise is just like a push up uh, to target the upper body let's go 10 reps of this one two three four now rush into it six seven eight nine ten Alright, so after your push-ups, you're going to do shoulder taps. Again, maintain in your push-up position and we'll be doing shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If this isn't enough for you, go on. Add it side. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so... That's basically like our upper body, we did our chest, we did shoulders. So let's target our lower body with uh, mountain climbers, okay? Let's get our heart pumping a bit. I know it's very hot already, but let's fucking do it anyways. 30 seconds, go. Three, Cool, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! So that is a bit of cardio, lower body. Now we're just gonna do body weight squats. Finish this set nice and simple. Ten reps of this. Let's go. Gonna train that booty. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. So that is just one set. Complete this for three additional sets and we can call it a day. Whew. Again, I need to leave this area because I'm a half naked, grown ass man in a clit spirit ground. I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's go, let's go. The kids are here. 